Hi then, so this is the Acaso V50 Pro, it says it on the side. Thank you to Acaso for sending it, and thank you also for giving me a 15% discount to all the subscribers. So in the description, there's a link there, click on the link and get our discount. Um, so what we've got here then is a nice little action camera, it's very light, it's kind of coated in a, in a uh, I'm not sure if it's a, if it's a rubbery or a plastic coating, but it's, it does its job because I actually dropped it on the kitchen and it bounced. Uh, it's not damaged or anything and it's been working fine since. It's got a flat screen at the back, touch screen, it's got a quite a nice little lens at the front, three settings on that, I'll go into a bit more detail. What we're going to be doing also is recording using inside the car for 4K 30 frames per second outside the car, same sort of settings, using the internal mic built into it and using the mic outside. Now when I record it outside, it's like a hurricane, so that'll be fun seeing that little bit of clip. And I'll also be recording in the daytime, nighttime and using some filters. That's got some filters in there, quite a lot of fun with them. Let's see what we get on with it. So here's the action camera in the case that it comes in. It's a nice little case, um, quite a good display case. Give it a quick spin round, you can see it. And it's the um, the Ultra HD native 4K edition, the Castle V50 Pro. Quite a nice little case actually. On the side of the, the case you've got a bit of information about the washproof case and can take up to 98 feet. The touchscreen on the back of the action camera and it's got image stabilisation which you can turn on and off. And a bit more information about um, what you've got in the box and what, what kind of uh, settings you can use and the remote control waterproof or splash proof watch. So there's the accessories, lots of accessories, two batteries, charger, mini USB cable. And um, this came in also, talk about leave a review and claim a free gift it's saying. And you've also got a, a pamphlet about a quick reference guide, download the app, you know, charge up the batteries, how to fix the batteries in and manuals also. So here's the, the camera. So it's in its, in its casing at the moment. So we'll, we'll get that open. Quite a tough little case to open, case to open, which is what you want. You don't want it easy because if you're going to take it under water, the last thing you want to do is catch it and it opens up on you. So it's quite a nice little case, quite tough. And there's the action camera, quite a nice little handy one. It's, it's, it's kind of a greyish rubbery coating. So got a front cover on the lens and a, and a cover on the back of the, where the touch screen is, so make sure you take them off, you don't want to leave them on, or you'd be disappointed if you leave the lens cover on. So there's a lens, three settings on the lens, I'll be using extra wide on it, it's there. There's the um, speaker there, the, we've got the micro SD card port and the uh, mini USB cable. And that's where the bash goes underneath and um, if you look at the next one here, I'll be using 64 gigabytes on the micro SD card. I'll just I'll show you what I'm using. That's what they recommend. Uh, and there's the watch, so you can use it to record or take pictures on it. Quite a nice little watch. I didn't use it on this occasion, but uh, I'll probably use it in the future. Quite a nice little watch to have, and, and a little feature. And then here it is. The touch screen, so if we just turn on general there, you can see that we've got the controls, you can use the microphone, the, um, the recording, and, the, and the, how brightness it is, so the different different settings on there. Still getting used to the touch screen at the moment. And you've got the, uh, the sound, which you can turn off. And then here, just, just drag it along. I'm, I'll be using the super wide angle lens, but there's three settings on there. We've got the date and time, easy to set. Nothing too tricky about that on there. I suppose it's just, it's just getting used to, you know, dragging it along. It's a bit like a phone, you, you drag things along. Easy to format. And then you've got the, the video resolution. I'll be using 4K, 30 frames per second, but it goes all the way down to 720, as you can see there. Uh, so I suppose it's what you really want to, want, you want to get out of it, really, what you want to use. Image stabilization. I turn that on, but I, you can turn it on and off. And you can get your video lengths. I just put unlimited, but you can go up to five minutes on there. I had longer than that. Time lapse videos. You can also do flash motion movies on there. You can turn the wind noise on and off. You can do the scenes. You can date stamp it, all sorts. And the effects. You've got filters in there, which, I, which I'll show you a little bit more in a bit. 
different types. Lots. It's one of the good things. It's not just the normal uh, recording. You can put lots of little things on it. There's lots of action things you can put in it, like the filters, the, uh, the white balance. I think I might use a bit of tungsten and the filters in there also. Lots of them. And there it is. And then the camera resolution. I took a few shots at 14 megapixels first and then 20 megapixels. But you can use what you want there. And you'll see it in a few seconds here. Um, you can use time lapse also. So even the camera's got lots of little things you can use. As you can see there, lots of things. And then there's the um, 14 megapixel picture I've taken. And then the next one coming along is the 20 megapixel. So I've got the Acaso V50 Pro action camera here. I'm using 4K 30 frames per second using the, the built-in mic that's it's actually on the action camera and I've actually got the uh, the app on at the moment so I'm just checking to make sure it's all right it's easy to use the app it's free to download and um, I'm quite impressed with the um, the sound that's coming out of the action camera I'll show you the next bit next clip which is on the outside of the car which is quite windy and so i'm in the car at the moment and i'm going to go outside very windy outside so you're going to have lots of wind and you better hear what it sounds like so it's quite windy out here and looking round you can see the car you can see in the distance the car park it's a windy day what i'll do is i'll put the noise reduction on in a minute and you can try it back the noise reduction on i'll just turn the camera around so you can see me there so i've got the noise reduction on the camera so i don't know if there's a big difference we'll see in a minute but it's very windy so one of the added um, bonuses on this camera is the, uh, the filters and we've got a black and white filter there which is quite a nice little filter you've got the negative filter and these are all recorded in the daytime on a, on a clear day um, and then you've got uh, this up on here which is the sepia filter and then i think i've done a tungsten um, times two, so it's quite tw so it's twice the speed. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. And then and then another one here, which is a tint with a times two speed also. Um, but there's lots more filters to use, which is quite a nice little feature to have. It makes things a bit different when you. Want. So on this bit here, I've I've put the action camera on top of the car on a mount. It's on the inside of the waterproof case, recorded in 4K, 30 frames per second. Got a few speed bumps so we've got the image stabilization on at the same time so I'm, I'm hoping it's pretty smooth you can see the car bounce around and the footage looks quite smooth at the same time so the bottom to the car bouncing and also what impressed me is the uh, the clarity of the 4k it's actually quite good I, I, I'm really impressed with how clear it was I've, I've reviewed a few in the past and it's probably the one I've come across which is the most clearest so it's nice to see um, a nice clear footage 4k um, driving on the outside and this next bit of footage here I've got the um, camera mounted on the side of the, the car so you've got a bit more low to the ground it's got a bit more bouncy a few potholes a few speed bumps so you better see what it looks like and I'll, and I'll leave the, um, the volume on so you can listen to what it sounds like with the outside casing on night mode a little bit windy tonight using 4k 30 frames per second you know the wind's very windy out here tonight again so I, I really enjoyed um, reviewing this camera it's probably one of the best if not the best one I've reviewed at the moment the 4k 30 frames per second is pretty clear the built-in internal mic is also really clear 
the uh, image stabilizer makes it look nice and smooth and uh, the filters is added bonus there's lots of settings you can use on it and I hope you enjoy watching it and uh, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for your discount Thank you.